What's up, CL fam? What a glorious day it is! It's currently in on the, the day. It's on the day of posting. Yeah, this is. Everything you will see is from the past, but this is also from the past, but not as far in the past as it was. Oh, it <laughs> is still in the past, but it is from today. So welcome to Friday. Welcome to Friday. That's Friday. so weird. We never film on the day. So we filmed a whole video about um, home birth and how we're setting up for it, and it got us thinking. Maybe we should address some of the comments or worries that you guys have got about home birth that maybe you don't understand. I mean, we know. Um, a lot of you are from the States and uh, the, the views out there are way different on a lot of things and home birth is one of those things. So some of you are reaching out after you found out we were having a home birth and we do understand that you're just trying to share your opinions with us on how you feel about home birth but it kind of came across as scaremongering there because was a lot of scaremongering. right now we're so close to having baby boy liana needs to be in such a good mindset like she needs to be positive happy looking forward to the home birth and then getting messages that are like whoa you shouldn't do home birth it's very dangerous i know people that have died from home birth yeah. that is not what liana needs right now so if you did send one of them dms we understand that you did it from the, a kind place yeah. because you just wanted to help us but please refrain from scaring liana before we actually go into this <laughs> So we just thought we'd sit down and kind of explain why we're doing home birth and how it's actually not as scary as you may be told. Home birth is actually highly encouraged in the UK. We didn't know um, until we went for our first midwife appointment with the NHS. Yeah. So we're not with the NHS right now. We're with we're doing it with a private midwife, but the NHS actually they were enforcing it really well. Well, I was they? just they about like, to say when we went it? to our first appointment, yeah. there was literally a poster on the wall that says, "Have you considered home birth?" because they're so successful with home births now because you have we're going to have two midwives here with us. Yeah. So they're completely trained, they know exactly what to do in every situation. We're 20 minutes away from a hospital, so if anything does go wrong, they can foresee it they really do push for home births now because you know it keeps you out of hospital you're in familiar surroundings yeah. there's so many benefits to home birth in and you said that the chances so of anything going wrong they only go from what was it the chances of anything going wrong during birth or before birth are very slim because they can normally foresee it yeah yeah, yeah. they'll all... know when to take you to hospital yeah, way in advance before if you're in hospital the chances of anything going wrong with a baby it's like five every it's like five in a thousand but for home births, it's nine, nine. in a thousand. Yeah. So it's not a massive gap. And like I said, we're only 20 minutes away from a hospital and you know, we'll be straight up. There's a number to get straight through to an ambulance if anything goes wrong. You've got more chances of positive, um, smooth sailing pregnancy at home. I guess mainly because you're in your own surroundings. Yeah. But that being said, I understand, we understand that home birth isn't for everyone. This was just the decision that we made. I completely understand why some people would rather be in hospital because if that gives you um, peace of mind, yeah. then you would not want to stress out. That's the last thing you want to do. But your peace of mind is literally here. Yeah. You're going to be way more positive here yeah. than you would be in hospital, which is why I, we chose I, I home I hate birth. hospitals. There's just something about them. Yeah, but we also cool. wanted to address this because I can also understand why some people wouldn't go through with the home birth that they wanted because of people scaring them. Bad or making people them bad experiences. Yeah. You hear a lot more negative experiences on pregnancy than people trying to share their positive you never ones hear with positives. you. So we just want to kind of break the stigma around a first time home birth. It's not for everyone, but if you want to go ahead with it, I think fingers crossed we can kind of like document a positive, successful first time home I birth. I mean, yeah, we're going to show you guys, but the bonus as well is we're not just having a home birth, we're having a home water birth. So again, we've got the added- um, Pain relief. Pain relief, relaxation. Yep. At the end of the day, it's just something we decided on. Well, actually, you decided on because it's not yeah. really. It, I I left it up to Liana because it's not my decision. It's wherever you feel most comfortable. Whatever works for you. Whatever just, works for you. Yeah, just know that we're in capable hands. And and please stop <laughs> sending us messages saying that you know someone that died at a home birth. I suffer with anxiety, so please stop sending <laughs> me. <laughs> But we do understand they co it comes from an, a kind place. You yeah, guys are just does. trying to support and help us. Liana just got a bit worried at your messages, but no one's. Yeah, yeah it's because you read them, you just get a bit of a sinking feeling, and it's just like. Yeah, Why are you telling so me this? Now. Why are you telling me this? I give birth in two weeks. Positivity only, okay? Good morning. Excuse the fact I've just fake tanned. I've got an express one hour tan now, and I was like, yeah! Only one hour? I'll take it. And I think. Since the last time you've seen me, I also had my hair done, so my hair is a lot darker than it was. I'm still trying to get used to it. It's just so scary because I am 37 weeks now. I am officially in the UK. I know some of you are like, you're not full term, but in the UK, you are classified as full term 
from 37 weeks so if baby was to come now there, there would be well fingers crossed there wouldn't be any complications and he'd be completely fine i still don't think he's in position yet he's definitely head down midwife has confirmed that he's head down apart from that i don't think he's engaged yet he keeps turning me all sorts of like weird shapes i'll show you like the shapey baby the other day i looked like a camel i looked like i had a like, little camel bump and it was very very weird looking i'm gonna quickly do my makeup because we've got lots to do today very lots to do our you already know that the birth pool has arrived and the gas and air tanks my task now from my midwife is like you need to make this room as cute and comfortable as possible so that you can produce oxytocin and obviously you don't want to just be sat in the middle of a room and just looking around thinking oh my god and you want things to distract you like she was like you can put affirmations on the board and put fairy lights up so i just need to make sure that that room is like completely tidy because we've got some cardboard and stuff in there to take to the tip the recycling tip we also need to blow the pool up and make sure that we know what we're doing so when i go into labor there's no kind of like faffing about it. it's right get the pool up let's go we know what we're doing kind of thing i've also started <laughs> i think connor hates it but i've started getting into a habit of doing my makeup in front of the window in this room which is the bedroom skews the mess behind i'm actually in my uh, dressing gown that i bought for birth connor bought me a top he was like you can because it was an oversized top that i want to wear in the pool and he was like i got you this and thought you could wear this for birth and i was like yay thank you so much and obviously i wore it about six times already so i had to buy another one and i've left it in the packaging to make sure that i don't wear it do you know i think this is probably going to be the worst day today so far of pregnancy and the only reason i say that is because it's really sunny outside it's really warm like i'm sweating pollen count is also like really high and i suffer with really bad hay fever so i've already had a tablet i haven't been outside yet but i've already had a nosebleed and i'm sneezing and i'm itchy and i'm uncomfortable and i'm pregnant and i'm hot it's really crazy to think that our baby could be here in the next three weeks it's not even three weeks anymore it's like two weeks and a half and when you see this it'll literally be two weeks it's just you can't even when you're pregnant you can't imagine that there's like a human in your belly like even though i've gone through it for the last nine months i my brain still can't comprehend that there is like a, a little thing in my belly kicking drinking the fluid weeing sucking its thumb it's just madness and i think even if my belly was like see-through and you could actually see it, i don't think i'd be able to comprehend it and i haven't had any fake contractions yet either so i'm going in blind unless i have one before i go into birth i do not know what i'm in for i don't know what it's gonna feel like i don't know how i'm gonna cope i don't know what my pain threshold's gonna be and i know like the fake contractions are like a very dull version of what's to come but i just haven't had one yet so how am i supposed to know oh another question i got when i announced that i was having home birth on the shorts i mentioned that i was only having gas and air and a lot of people were like why in your right mind would you only choose to have gas and air when you can have an epidural and have a pain-free birth and the reason is i don't think i'm gonna need an epidural i think my pain th obviously i don't know but i think my pain threshold is quite good but i also don't like the fact that i'm not gonna feel my baby coming out I, I understand that some people need an epidural some women do some people want an epidural and that's completely fine that's completely your choice but i don't think i would have an epidural unless i felt like i needed one if i was in that moment i'm like i need to go to hospital because i need an epidural because i can't do this that's that's different but i don't think i want to go straight in like this is my first birth i don't know what to expect and also it's just more side effects as well if there's no need for it i'd rather not have it whatever works for you you know go with whatever i do want to say though i think i've had a very easy ride i think it could have been so much worse and obviously i've got to do the whole give birth part but first trimester was horrible i was really really tired second trimester was like an absolute holiday what a great trimester and then third trimester obviously i got the really bad back pain i still get the back pain but only when i'm sat in a certain position for so long if i get up or go and get my pregnancy pillow it's not too bad but it's bearable so i, I just think it's been i've been very lucky and it's been very easy going anyways i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop rambling for now i'm gonna finish my makeup i should be back i need to do my hair as well but then i'll be back because honestly i could just ramble forever and connor's gonna go through all this footage and she's gonna be like what are you on about i'm just like that she is done i'm gonna show you my bump i don't think he's gone down yet it's still pretty high oh can you even see can you even see he's still up here he needs to come down but i think our pram has arrived ah! i know we already had a pram but this pram has a car seat that goes into the car so let's go see if it was the pram so they definitely arrived that was um very correct oh no 
no. What's wrong? Is this what just came? Yeah, this is the pram. Oh no. <laughs> so much cardboard. Yeah, unfortunately we are going to have to do another trip. This is a pram. I was saying that here needs to be completely clear and we need to start, obviously, because I can go at any sorry, point now. Sorry. This is a pram. One, two, three, four boxes for a pram. Yes. Why? I'm assuming they're different attachments. <laughs> This. What? Are you doing all the work? Me do- I bloody won't! <laughs> See, that's not even the box I wanted open first. It's okay, I'm gonna open them all, don't oh, worry, God! Okay. What is- what is- it? it's like Christmas. Is that the pram? I thought that would have been the pram! Uh, no, I'm well confused. Well, it's part of the pram. Oh. Yay! Right, well, there's loads of mess now, but that's fine. So, babe, talk us through what we've got, because I have no idea what these things are. Well, I think this is the pram. Okay, there's definitely the car that's seat. The car seat? Yeah, that's we've cool. Got a car seat! We, we did Woo! need that, that's one thing we didn't have. This bassinet, is the, the bassinet. This, this is one that you can, it has a stand, and you can have it in the living room. Oh, cool! And you can have it on the pram, whichever. Okay, that's really cool. And this um, is part of the pram? I don't know. Let's see if we can put it together. Ah! What's wrong? Is it kicking you? Yeah. That's so cool. So now this towards should... towards you. Oh towards yeah, you. towards you. Yep. Yeah. Wanna see my baby? There we go. Is that it? We're in boys. <gasps> Okay, so Pram is done. It's even got a Coke in. Have you put your Coke in the cup holder? So and now this is the bassinet that stands, which is super cool. And this attaches. And it attaches to the Pram, which is even cooler. <laughs> but look how cool this is. It's got legs and it's carryable. Oh my God, it's a mini pregnancy pillow. This is adorable. Okay, so cleaning this room is, is uh, I mean, it's gone quite well. It's empty yeah. now. We've got a lot of the cardboard in the car. We've taken the bins out. The pram is now in here, and Leon has put the thing on the stilts or whatever it is. So this room is looking reasonably clean. There's the gas and air. This is going to go in the garage. The Hoover. Stuff in there. The Hoover can just go in the lounge. We've got curtains here so they can close. I've bought blackout uh, suction cup blinds for here. We've got some little fairy lights. This whole top will be clear. So we're actually getting there. I have bought a board as well okay in hopes that it will balance on this one hook the one hook that they've given us to use and one side has chalk uh, not chalk is it chalk i don't know is it chalk i've not, the, I don't, the, not seen it put your pins in we know what you mean and on the other side it's got a whiteboard so okay. i can write some stuff on it that's cute and then we can put pictures up or something yeah so it's starting to look okay and here is our pool <gasps> We've got to work out how to use the attachments and stuff. And yeah, hopefully... no, we need to see if it fits our tap. Yes, hopefully it does. Because we have to fill it up with warm water. Of course, you don't want to be getting in a cold pool. Your nipples will be rockers. So we're going to go see if this fits our tap. Because uh, we've got a bathroom through there. So if it does, that'll be very easy. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here that I don't really know what to do. With. Like, what? oh, there's loads of attachments. Oh my goodness. Wait, what? I feel like we need someone to help. Is that for a hose pipe? Turns out there's many attachments. What have we, we have got? We have absolutely no idea what to use. A non-slip grip mat. Oh, so I can get out. Very grippy. Oh, a sieve to get your poo out if you poo by accident. <laughs> yeah. Happens very common. Yeah. A very sturdy one. Your logs are way bigger than that. Bobby Moon! What's that? This is the filter. Oh no, the pump. They give you a pump. Is a pump? What's the pump for? To pump the pool up. Oh, Duh. that is a filter. This is the filter <laughs> pump. And we've got pool liner. Oh. And then we've got the pool. Very nice. And some cloth for, I guess, going under on the floor. Oh my goodness. Skillman. It's feeding time at the zoo. That looks like a good fit, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Nice and snug. <gasps> Nailed it. Oh my goodness, I actually nailed it first time. He actually did. And we can get warm water out of there. And on the floor, apparently. <laughs> We've got wet socks now. Okay, so it's been a while since we last recorded anything. Did I show them what I did yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Put the, we put the blackout blinds up and mm, stuff. No, do you want to show them? So I've put up some fairy lights. Cute. And if I give birth in the day, we've got some blackout blinds on. They're here and then so, oh wait. we've got the curtains here. Oh. <gasps> It will look cuter when uh, all this rubbish is out the frame. <laughs> Do you think this will be too dark when I give birth? Mm. If it's night? 
Possibly. I think we should get some fairy lights here. Or a lamp. We definitely need a lamp in here to set more of a mood. Yeah. Um, so we can get the one in and from the lounge. We're gonna put some flowers. We're gonna clear this. We're gonna put some flowers as well. A vase of flowers, probably. And then we're gonna put my humidifier. And then I've got my board. So I'm gonna look at this and be like, oh yeah, I need to breathe. And then you know. Baby's gonna fall out. And we're gonna do some pictures as well. I'm gonna try and get some pictures. Yeah, so, so we can get some pictures. <laughs> That's a good idea. And then our gym is here. We've also blacked out them windows because a lot of light comes through there and nothing comes through the kitchen, luckily. So we're all prepared for a night birth. I low key hope that our baby boy comes at night purely because it's gonna be yeah. so quiet. So if you could just hold on until night, Bobby, that would be great. If not, doesn't matter. We'll work with it. So now. I think we've already said, but we need to test the pool. We need to make sure when it happens, we know what we're doing. <laughs> so we're going to see if we can get it up. And then get it back in the bag. Huh. Oh my God, there's a cute color. It's sage. Sage. Me really need it. We're gonna have mats under here so it doesn't slip have everywhere. A chair here so they can sit down. So I'm gonna be smack bang in the middle. Yeah, that'll be perfect because there'll be nothing around anyway. Look how much room you've actually got. Like, sit down. Oh my! You could do. Ah! You could do lengths. You could literally be Tom Daly and dive off the tripod or something. We can oh, stand yeah. on here and jump in. How do you feel? You've got handles on each side. Oh my, that's so cool. Look how high you can have the water as well. This is literally the place our baby is gonna be born. Do you reckon I'll let us keep this after it's done? Because I wouldn't mind this as a paddling pool. No, but I'm pretty sure you can buy your own if you wanted to. So I could actually get in here with you as well. Yeah, they did say you can if you want. So I can experience this with Liana and go for a paddle. Maybe I'll just dip a toe in. I might buy a... Um... A lilo! I was already thinking about it! <laughs> no. We'll get the inflatables, we'll get the swan like, in here. inflatable seat? Oh. Because if I'm... Obviously it's going to be in the water. To be honest, you're really bad at swimming. We should probably get you some armbands as well. I'll pack some shorts so I can get in with you and I can give you a massage in there. No, I mean serious. Oh, okay. The water's going to be warm, <laughs> so I don't see why not. This is so much deeper than I thought it was. Can I get in? Yeah. <laughs> There's room for a, a family of eight in here. It's a family affair. It can be. <laughs> this is actually so comfortable. I wish I was giving birth. Oh, it shouldn't be. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe how real it feels now the pool is up in this I've room. just realised I've faced the pool that way. Well, so no, you, my, you can sit where I am. No, I know. Or do you want to face the door? These are the things you've got to think about. Do you want to face this or this? Which is currently a mess. It won't be like that. But right now it is. I'm just thinking I need to look at my board. But you're not going to be in the pool the whole time. No, I know. I'm going to have my ball. I don't think you'll want to face the door. I think you'll want to face this way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I want to look at my board. Yeah, so you'll just sit where I am. I'm going to put pictures up there. Yeah, you'll just sit where I am then. Yeah. Right, should we take it down before we burst it or something? I'm kind of enjoying it. Maybe we could have like a movie night in here. <laughs> oh my god, there's a brown stain! No, there's not! We better hope this thing's as easy to get down as it is to get up. Well, you just inflate and un un uninflate it. How did you no, do it? Well, that's the floor. Where's the... When you put the bouncy castle down at the end of the party and everyone jumps on it. <laughs> I'm gone! What the... <laughs> you be careful. I can't get up. I can't get up! I can't get up! I can't get up now. I'm stuck here. Oh my god! Uh, uh, Wensley Delphi! 
This should go in the box, right? It's not. Oh, yeah. You've you've got this. Yeah, we don't want to put a hole in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah. Don't squeeze it though. But yeah. Oh. Okay, <laughs> right. Right, well, that is uh, us almost ready for home birth. Um, we're getting there now, which is scary. He could come at any point. We've said that many times, but that's because I keep reminding myself that he literally could come at any point. If anyone has any, ad uh, not advice, but tips on how I could make the room look a bit more cute. Yes, birth. yes. Then please let us know Do in the comments. Know. Someone said get get a mini fridge and I'm thinking the last thing I'm going to want is a mini fridge while I'm giving birth. Yeah, you never know. We actually do have a mini fridge in the other room that we yeah, can we do. access at any point, so it's not a bad idea. I think just some more stuff on the walls and some cute lights. We can make it cute. God, Whoa, look at the cobwebs on that. That's going to do it for today's video anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you uh, are enjoying this journey. We're so close to meeting our baby. Oh. <laughs> and you guys have been here from the start. How has it been nine months? I don't know. We're not sure what the next video is you will see. Hopefully not the birth and he holds on a little bit longer because midwife is currently on holiday, or she will no, be. No, she will be, yeah. Um, so we're hoping he holds on a so. little bit longer. As much as we want to meet him, we also want everything to be perfect, of course, as you would. So we're not sure what the next video will be, but there will be a video next week. It's just really scary now, isn't it? It's just like, he is going to be here in the next couple of weeks, fingers crossed. It's obviously. scary, but exciting. Unless he's late. It is exciting. I always say, though, I want him to come before the due date, because I think once you hit the due date, it's like, oh my God. And, like, just hurry up. Yeah, no, but I think your head space is like right he could come anytime now and it's, it's just a bit i don't know i feel like i'd be expecting it more after they do that so we'll see you next week at some point thank you for watching guys enjoy the rest of your weekend we love you so much we'll keep you updated on the shorts obviously yeah of course shorts we love be cool. millions. Yeah. and we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.